Hey, this is Tyrone Jones with the Construction Entrepreneur School of Services, and we're bringing you another Contractor State License Board Examination Study Guide. Basically, we're going to tell you everything that's going to be on the examination for the C4 classification, and that's the boiler, hot water, heating, and steam fitting classification. Now, this 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 uh, classification. Um, um, has a uh, has five major sections in it that you will find on the test. And the first one is uh, planning and estimation at 19%. And that's going to cover two sections. Plan borrow room projects and estimate borrower projects. Next one that you'll find on the examination at 33% is borrower system removal preparation and installation at 33%. And that's going to cover four sections. That's going to be removal of old boiler systems, preparation of job sites for new boiler systems, install new boiler systems, and test and complete boiler systems. Next section, section three, is specialty boiler installation at 11% of the examination. And that's going to cover commercial borer systems, industrial borer systems, school and hospital, and residential borer systems. Next one, section four, is uh, borer system maintenance, repair, and retrofit at 15%. And that's going to cover maintaining the borer systems, repair borer systems, retrofit borer systems. Last section, which is the fifth one, is safety at 22%. And that's going to cover personnel safety, job site safety, confined space work, and dangerous materials. Now, all these percentages here are prospect, so you may find a uh, slight higher depending on what type of test you take. Remember, um, it's reported to have seven to nine different tests per trade. So um, you definitely want to keep an eye out for that, okay? So test site policy. This is a closed book examination. No reference materials may be used during the examination. All materials brought to the examination site must be left in an unmonitored area at your own risk, okay? The test strategy. This is a multiple choice examination with four choices per question. Examination questions are written to provide only one best answer. Remember that. Some questions require mathematical. A calculator will be provided. Okay. There are no penalty for guessing. This is what the state board actually states to you. If you're unsure by a particular question, it is better to try to answer the question than to leave a question blank. You're given plenty of time to answer all the examination questions. So be sure to eat, read each question and its four choices completely and carefully before selecting the best possible answer to the question. Now, you're given quite a bit of time. I want you to also know that they give you an option to, to, to set questions off to the side to come back to them later if you're not sure about the, about the answer. One thing you don't want to do, you don't want to spend a whole lot of time on these questions that you're unsure on, okay? And you always have to remember that while you're taking tests like this, a lot of times you will find that there are other questions that answers other questions. So give yourself a break, set those questions to the side, and come back to them later, and go ahead and knock out the ones that you're for sure on so you can get through this thing but with minimal stress as possible because it still is a big day for a lot of us, right? All right, here's some sample questions you're going to find on the examination. One, which of the following conditions will probably cause foaming? A, turbulence in water. B, a high concentration of solids in the boiler water. C, a high concentration of liquids in the boiler chamber or D, sludge or sediment in the check valve. Now, if you want to follow along with this and you want to give yourself some time to figure out the answer, go ahead and pause the video right after I read the question or right after you read the question, and then go ahead and play it once you have figured out that answer. 
is B, a high concentration of solids in the bottled water. Let's try another question here. What type of cast iron fittings cannot be used on cast iron pipe? A, flange, B, mechanical, C, welded, D, no hub. C, welded. Last question I'm gonna provide here. A boiler project costs 35,400 for materials, another 7,500 for testing, and 12,700 for commissioning. What amount is due if the contractor has been paid for 45% of these expenses already? A, 25,020. B, 55,600. C, 48,100. Or D, 30,580. It's D, 30,580. Here, we're going to cover some resources that you can actually look up. Um, you definitely want to give yourself the edge by looking up some of these websites, maybe even uh, ordering some of these books, because like I've said in these other videos, I have a school and like other schools, my school, we're not going to give you every, every piece that's going to be on the test. Like I said, there's a report of it that's up to nine different tests. So there's no way we can give you all that material. So some, some for some of the materials that you're going to be faced with on the examination, it'd be better for you to, to, to go ahead and look up these resources, order some of these books so you can gain some additional knowledge to help you ace this test. Okay. So go ahead and look through some of this. It definitely, definitely help you out here. And if you have any questions, concerns, um, not knowing where to go, not knowing what to do, you let me know. Uh, we'll make sure we can get you uh, some materials, uh, point you in the right direction, just make you feel a little bit more comfortable about this big day that's coming up. That's what I have for you there. Um, Hope you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe, like, and also share. Thanks, my construction entrepreneurs. See you on the next one.